going to start off looking at the most exotic and usually the most expensive part of a turbine package and that is the actual gas turbine itself. The turbine that we have here is the JetCat P80, possibly the most widely sold turbine in the world of modelling today. It represents pretty much all that is new and all that is current with the model turbine design. It was the first turbine to feature the automatic start feature um, of the turbine design, which revolutionised really how the turbines have worked. Before this, we were starting the turbines manually with a, with a compressed air bottle and manually adjusting the gas. The advent of the onboard starting system has, has truly automated turbine operation in that it's completely done now, almost isolated from the, the, the actual turbine itself. Let's start with looking at the actual turbine unit itself, the big silver shiny bit here. What we have here is, as I said, a JetCat P80. 80 represents the newtons of thrust that it produces. In a pounds term, that's 18 to 20 pounds. They keep upgrading the engines as the design develops. And this particular engine that started off producing 18 pounds, now same size and weight produces 20 pounds. We'll start at the front. This is the, the all important bit that's um, now commonplace, but it's the bit that, like I said earlier, has revolutionized turbine operation. That's the onboard starter. What we have in this capsule here, or the starter module, is an electric motor connected via a Bendix clutch, which is inside there, which is totally isolated from the compressor wheel right now, but on um, application of the start sequence, will actually engage that compressor at the front there, rev the engine up, spin it, rotate the compressor to around about 30,000 RPM where the engine will then begin its full, fully automated start process. The two inputs that you see there are for fuel and gas. This particular engine is what we call a gas start engine where it starts on propane but we'll tackle, there is an alternative of kerosene start but we'll deal with that later on. You have the electrical connectors for the operation system there, also there. This unit here that you can see there is the thermo sensor, the temperature sensor. Um, the way that the turbines work, an onboard computer monitors temperature, RPM and fuel flow all of the time to make sure everything's operating correctly. You then have what's familiar to most of you is a glow plug. That's a an normal OS8 Enya 3 type warm glow plug. This is to ignite the start um, gas, the, the, the source of ignition when you're using a, a, a gas uh, started engine. It only um, really heats up for the first 15 seconds of the start sequence to ignite the gas to get the turbine up and running and then it shuts off. Uh, obviously the turbine body itself and then we go to the tail cone and the turbine wheel in the back there.